Hey everyone, and welcome back to News to Astonish, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. And boy, do I have really good and relieving news for you all. And that is the fact that Jeremy Renner is now conscious. He was able to take a small selfie for you guys just to share his gratitude towards all the supporters who supported Jeremy Renner throughout the years and, of course, throughout this traumatic moment that he just experienced. And if you all don't know, if you probably didn't see my last video or any other video that any other content creator made about the subject, that is that Jeremy Renner has been involved in a traumatic snow plowing incident. And to be exact, Jeremy Renner has suffered traumatic chest injuries along with other orthopedic injuries and if you don't know what that is orthopedic injuries involves deformities of muscles and tissues and he has experienced severe blood loss but they were able to save him on time and this happened in the morning during new year's day and it's quite a scary experience from what i read but we're here to share the update. Jeremy Renner posted this selfie, and this is coming from CNN.com. I was able to pull this up here. So the star, Jeremy Renner, thanked well-wishers for their kind words in first to post to social media since the New Year's Day snow plowing accident. In a short post to Instagram where he shared a selfie reflecting some facial bruising, Renner wrote, Thank you all for your kind words. I'm too messed up now to type, but I send love to you all. Earlier on Tuesday, Samantha Mass, Renner's publicist, provided more details on the accident that landed Renner in the hospital, saying that the actor was near in his Nevada home, clearing driveways prior to the incident. It is also reported that he was helping a stranded car, uh, specifically for a family that had their car stranded in tons of snow. And I got to say, now that is an act of an Avenger. Jeremy Renner is an actual real-life Avenger, and that is really good on him for doing something like that. Jeremy Renner is really a wholesome guy. Renner was moving snow for a private driveway on Sunday so that his family members could depart his residence after they celebrated the holidays together, his representative added. Members of Renner's family were with him when the accident occurred. Jeremy is making positive progress and is awake, talking, and in good spirits, Mass said a new statement released Tuesday evening. He remains in ICU in critical but stable condition. He is overwhelmed by the showing of love and support. The family asks for your continued thoughts while he heals with his close loved ones. On Sunday at 8.58 a.m. Pacific time, authorities received a 911 call reporting crash involving a snowcat and advice used to remove snow. And a pedestrian on a Mount Rose Highway, Washoe County Sheriff Darren Ballum said on Tuesday during a press conference, while it was not snowing at the time of the accident, Ballum said Mount Rose Highway was closed due to severe winter weather and had snow that wasn't yet removed. He added that about 13 to 20 abandoned cars were also on the highway that were difficult to maneuver around. The first sheriff's department unit arrived at the scene at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time where emergency medical services were on scene providing aid to Renner, Ballum said. Ballum said Renner was run over by his own snowcat after the machine started to roll away when he was not in the driver's seat. He was injured during the attempt to get back into the snowcat. Renner had been using the snowcat to remove snow around his personal vehicle at the time of the accident, Balam said. Balam added that the authorities do not believe Renner was intoxicated during the incident and called it a tragic accident. A spokesperson for Renner previously told CNN that he sustained blunt chest trauma and orthopedic injuries. The 51-year-old actor has so far undergone two surgeries to address his injuries, a source close to the actor told CNN. Balam said on Tuesday that Renner was awake and speaking with first responders when they arrived to the scene. When Renner was injured, his neighbors rendered aid and brought towels while waiting for his first responder, Balam added. The actor was the only person involved in the accident, the sheriff's office previously said in the news release. A helicopter landed in the vicinity of the highway at 9.37 a.m. And at 9.56 a.m., Renner was taken to a Reno area hospital, Balam said. Washoe County Sheriff's Office is currently in possession of Renner Snowcat, analyzing to rule out any potential mechanical failure, which is normal part of the investigation, by the way, with this severity of injuries, Balam said. Renner was also able to operate the Snowcat as he was on a private road that was shared by his neighbors and not maintained by the county, Balam said. He was being a great neighbor, and he was plowing those roads for his neighbor, Balam said. Authorities do not suspect any foul play, according to Balam. So that's pretty much it. I mean, this is really intense stuff to be able to experience something like that. And just to give you a little bit of more of a perspective about what Jeremy had to deal with, a snowcat, at least this snow plowing machine, weighs several tons. And to be able to endure blunt chest trauma and other orthopedic injuries involving a snowcat, it is, it's intense. The fact that he's alive is a total miracle. 
Anyways, this guy is really, truly an Avenger, and I'm glad that he made it out all right and he was able to pull through. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to share your support by following Jeremy Renner on his social media, such as Twitter and, of course, Instagram. If you don't know what it is already, you can easily find him by looking up Jeremy Renner. Show your support. As always, guys, thank you all so much for watching once again, and I'll see you on the next comic panel.